Welcome everyone. Well, this is the new addition to the um, the household vehicles. We bought this one just um, recently because the Peugeot is going to our daughter. So we need another town car. And I came across this little beauty. Now this is a late 2000 318i E46. And it's an automatic, pretty much um, baseline model, but effectively uh, it, it was too good to pass up. It's only got 150,000 kilometres on it. And you can see just even from the um, sheen of the paint job there, you can see how, what great condition it's in. There's only one or two little nicks, you can't see it here, it's just too bright on the doors, but they're just in perfect condition and inside it's still locked go to the other side inside it's the grey interior not my favourite colour but obviously when you're buying uh, a vehicle you've got to have some compromises so the compromiser we, we live with the grey but um, it's all in very good nick leather seats are all in very good nick I've given it already a once over inside and outside of course but there still needs to be a lot of detailing like for example I need to still treat the uh, the leather seats and um, do more on the carpets and so on because that's the problem with the grey the grey shows up a lot of the um, the browns if you don't keep it nice and clean um, in terms of the back, I better open that up. Same thing, very clean. So all up, it was very good value. Um, like I said, some things around the console need to be need to be replaced. Some of the plastics are kind of scratched and so on. And I look at that. Um, in terms of the boot, the boots a boot. I haven't cleaned this yet, but um, it's all there, as you would expect. Even the Even the toolbox has got all the bits that one needs. The only thing that's missing is this, and I'm not sure if it's actually missing or it didn't come with this model. But anyway, I like it because it's complete. In terms of the motor, well, nothing too exciting with a 1.8 either. I mean, it is the other half's car. She'll be using it to drive around, shopping trolley as such. Um, but I've just done a service on it, new air filter, oil filter, new oil of course. Um, everything works, like the um, headlights adjusters work. Uh, in terms of the other electrics such as the windows, power windows, all of them work, sunroof works. So it's, um, it's actually a very, very tidy car. So the other half is definitely happy with this. And uh, the next thing I'm going to try to do over the next few months, and I know this is always a controversial topic, but I want to actually change the oil and filter on the transmission. I've done it in the past on a BMW 540i, um, and you know it just it just changed the transmission and made it much more smoother and everything else. Um, the only little things that I said there was a little crease here, and there's a little little ding here obviously something's landed on that but aside from that really happy with it 150,000 kilometers really happy with it sorry about the noise this is a quiet country road yet there's heaps of traffic just because I'm filming and there you have it 
I'll be doing some updates on this every so often. Probably not to the same degree as the discovery, but anyway, we'll have a look. If you've got any comments or anything like that, let me know. It drives absolutely beautifully. You know, very smooth suspension, no rattling. No, it's great. And I've got to say, this is this model is probably one of my favourites. Alright, as always, thanks for watching.